Hey guys, welcome to the Adult with Autism weekly vlog. I'm Lee and I am an adult with autism. Now, this, what you don't realise, is vlog mark two for this week because I've already filmed the vlog but I didn't like the way that I'd done it. Um, I kind of rushed it, um, wasn't very happy with it. I've not even watched it back yet, but just thinking on it, I was like, that's not sort of like the level of content that I want to put out in, into the world. Um, so I thought I'd just film something else instead. Um, I've not got my glasses on, so I can't see very well. And that was one of the problems with the first part of the first vlog that I actually filmed because I couldn't see while I was filming it so the angles were all over the place at points you could only see like here and and things like that um and it, it just didn't look good my plan was is to actually show you a bit of behind the scenes of what goes on in um to make these videos but it was just it was too rushed I was just rambling on and it just didn't work very well but I just have a quick little chat and tell you about what goes on behind the videos instead of showing you everything. Behind um, the camera up against the wall there is a massive whiteboard and on there is just everything. Everything that I need to write down and remember for the vlogs and, and other videos. Um, along the top there's the schedule written um, that I tried to stick to. I haven't stick, stuck to that schedule once so far. Um, but that's a good thing because I've actually been ahead of schedule and got things done days before I was meant to which then has meant I've been able to put more time into other things. I do the videos because I enjoy them so I don't want to make it too much like it's some kind of business. I'm not making money from them um, and if I ever was going to make money from them it's not going to be for at least a year something like that. Um, so I'm, I'm just doing the videos because I enjoy them. And I think that as an autistic person, I have a voice to add to other autistic people to show how autism affects me because it affects everybody in different ways. Um, so the more people that show a different way of how autism affects them can only be a positive as far as I can see. Um, but yeah, I, I just enjoy them. Anyway, I haven't got script for this, so if I babble a little bit, I really, really apologise. Um, this past week I have been suffering with really really bad headaches. I get these headaches if I get too cold, if I get too hot, if I'm not quite drunk enough and they are really really painful. The only painkillers that help with any kind of pain with me are either ibuprofen or cocodamol. These headaches are so bad um, that ibuprofen never works, cocodamol the only thing. The problem is is that with everything that's been going on recently I haven't been able to get any cocodamol for weeks and I ran out about three weeks ago so every time I've had one of these headaches I've had to just grin and bear it which basically means losing days of being able to actually function like a human um, I can't stand to put my glasses on it hurts too much my hair as you can see is falling out a little bit because it's in a, a loose plait at the back because of anything tighter and it just really really hurts and my plan is to spend the day in bed reading luckily i have plenty to catch up on so i have lots and lots to read so i'll be doing that um and luckily as well i did find somewhere online that has some cocoa in stock that is on its way to me and hopefully will be by friday um the headache should have gone by then but if not then that will get rid of it for me like I'm just so looking forward to just pills <laughs> to take the pain away um, pretty much it's got to that point um, now one of the ways that autism affects me that you may have noticed in these videos and it's happening a little bit in this video is that particularly when I'm tired or I'm not feeling very well is that I stutter of my words and it's because there's a little bit of a disconnect between my brain and my mouth and my brain knows the word that I want to say but apparently my mouth forgets it by the time it goes there so I stutter over the word sometimes the wrong word comes out um, I, I've sat there before and been trying to um, explain the word carpet and wardrobe has come out before so that's that's kind of what happens and it 
is a side effect of ASD for me and just how it affects me is just a you know, communication problem at times which you know sometimes it can be quite funny when the wrong word <laughs> comes out um, my boyfriend he knows and picks up on it and he knows what I'm talking about it'll still take the mick out of me a little bit I don't mind that you know I've got a sense of humour believe it or not people with autism do have senses of humour um, might be a little bit weird sense of humour like mine but it's there we have a sense of humour um, so yeah so the vlog didn't get quite go to plan this week and this is all you're getting unfortunately um, now back to the YouTube videos a little bit I suppose um, on my whiteboard as well I do have a ton of ideas of what I want to film I might not actually film them all they're just ideas that pop into my head of what I would like to cover um, what I would like to see more content of in the world so why not put it out there myself um, but if there is any subjects you, you guys want to see me cover stick in the comments below and I'll, I'll take a look into it if it's viable I'll, I'll do a video on it um, and if it's a comment from one of you guys and a suggestion from one of you I'm more likely to do it and look into it because it's obviously what people want um, I got my first passive aggressive hater this week who actually went on the videos and disliked every single one of my videos um, whether they were doing that out of some kind of maliciousness I have no idea but in fact by going and disliking my videos all it's done is helped because any interaction with YouTube videos actually um, helped it, it just it marks it as interaction whether positive or negative and therefore YouTube are more likely to promote my videos more so um, if somebody disliked my videos I'd really prefer if they just sent me a message and just said why because if there's something wrong with my videos I'm not gonna know that I'm not I'm not gonna see it I you know I see the world from my own two eyes and that's it and you know I might say something that's insensitive I might say something that's rude I have no idea unless somebody actually points it out to me so I'd much rather somebody just turn around sent me a message and been like um, this is what I find wrong with your videos you know it's to me it's constructive criticism I'm not going to take it personally I'm going to look into it but you know if you dislike it for the sake of disliking it well it's your problem not mine sorry um I do have um some goals on um my whiteboard as well just like you know subscribers and things like that but it's just you know that's a byproduct of what I want to achieve with this videos you know it'd be nice if I had more subscribers um, and more people watching the videos that's just a it would be nice thing rather than a that's why I'm doing it thing um, a couple of big goals is that I'd love to be the kind of youtuber that went to events um, as well and you know did discussions and things like that I'd love to do stuff like that that would be kind of a dream job for me another random goal is to collaborate with um, Dan Jones who is uh, the youtuber the Aspie world and that's only because uh, he's the reason why I actually got into doing this the YouTubing thing um, and, and thought actually I can do it um, also he is the first autistic youtuber that I ever watched I'm very particular about the things that I watch I'm, I'm very kind of picky and he is currently the only autistic youtuber that I actually follow because I, I, I just really enjoy his videos so a goal of mine would be you know popular enough that we'd collab that'd be fantastic because he is kind of like you know I'm a fan so I probably would fangirl a little bit but it'd be fantastic um, anyway that's it for me this week i am gonna melt back into my bed and into my book and i will see you in the next video